Hello, everyone. And Grand Rising. I took a few days to get my mental right and, you know, get a get myself right mentally, you know, like reading a little bit. And today I felt inspired to talk about mental illness. Guys, if you have mental issues with yourself, do not feel alone. That's the worst feeling ever. If anything, like, Rely on me if you want to, if you want to, um, because I went through the same thing. I was, I was, I was suicidal at one point in my life and I was, I was, uh, mentally unstable at another point. Uh, these traumatic points in your life, you feel like you want to get rid of yourself. You, you feel like you, no one understands. You feel like you're the only one that will understand this about yourself. And like, it's not true. It's all lies. It's all lies built within your head, you know? Um, it's just your mind kind of playing tricks on you to make you seem like you're either crazy or you, you just mentally unstable. Um, it's all in your head, guys. Like, I know this because I went through it. If I didn't go through this, then I couldn't relate to you guys, you know, you guys out there. Um, but listen, this is a serious problem nowadays. Um, and it depends on what type of mental illness, uh, you have, but I personally seen mental people and yeah, they seem crazy. Yeah. They, they seem outrageous and everything, but there's certain types of mental illness. You could you could you could be on national television and have a mental illness. Or you can you can um just be mentally ill but like super mentally ill that you don't you don't know how to control yourself and then you need medications and stuff like that because this is stuff I've seen. And one thing I, I know is if you can't handle your mental illness, it's better if you call someone or or just uh or just check into a mental facility. I know you guys don't want to go to a mental facility and go through all of the that stuff, but Believe it or not, it actually does help. It actually does help. Um, or just, you know, find someone you can talk to about this, you know? Because if not, that's what makes you want to go suicide and you want to go through all these this other stuff, you know? I'm not a I'm not a genius at at uh at these things like the mental illness and stuff. I'm still working through it, you know, I'm still learning. Um, but I just, I just understand from a, from a, from a place of, you know, I've been there and I experienced uh, me mental illness, you know? And not everyone's perfect, everyone is emotional in their own way. And it just takes a lot more than, you know, a lot more than 
some other people to be emotional. But we're all emotional, whether we know it or not. If you're a human being, you're emotional. Embrace it. This is our world. We're emotional creatures. We have feelings. All these celebrities you see on TV and stuff, they have feelings. Whether they want to admit it or not, you know? And uh, it's just a different world, guys. It's a different world. That world where, you know, we put our feelings on the back burner or just tossed our feelings to the side. That, that is not what this world is. This new world is a feelings world. It's all about how you feel in this world. Like, do you feel bad? Do you feel angry? Do you feel uh, happy? Do you feel sad? Do you feel uh, excitement? You know? These are all emotions of being human. We're all one race. And that's the human race. We must stick together. Like glue. It's a different world out here, guys. Different world. And to those that have a mental illness, I'm right there with you. We're strong people. Not a lot of people understand people that have mental disabilities, but they're really strong people, believe it or not. You may not think so because you don't have a mental illness and you don't think it could happen to you and stuff like that. But mental, mentally ill people are strong. They're superheroes. I'm pretty sure these, these uh, people in the industry, uh, these people that work on technologies and uh, try to advance our society, they've all been through this type of mental illness or whatever mental illness they had at the time. But it's it's really it really gives you superpowers, man. <sighs> it really gives you superpowers. Sorry, I just I just had a little a little energy in my hand. I don't know. It it just comes out of nowhere sometimes. You know? <laughs> Yeah, today, I just really feel like, you know, this needs to be heard. Mentally ill people, we have superpowers, man. This is what I... This is what I've been trying to tell you guys. Over and over. I'm not regular. I'm not a regular person, man. 